The city looked small on a map of America. It was just a tiny polite dot near a red thread-like road that ran across an otherwise empty half inch of paper. But up close and on the ground it had a half a million people. It covered more than a hundred square miles. It had nearly 150,000 households. It had more than 2,000 acres of parkland. It spent half a billion dollars a year and raised almost as much through taxes and fees and charges. It was big enough that the police department was 1,200 strong. And it was big enough that organized crime was split two separate ways. The west of the city was run by Ukrainians. The east was run by Albanians. The demarcation line between them was gerrymandered as tight as a cong congressional district. Nominally, it followed Center Street, which ran north to south and divided the city in half, but it zigged and zagged and ducked in and out to include or exclude specific blocks and parts of specific neighborhoods. Wherever it was felt, historic precedents justified special circumstances. Negotiations had been tense. There had been minor turf wars. There had been some unpleasantness. But eventually an agreement had been reached. The arrangement seemed to work. Each side kept out of the other's way. For a long time, there had been no significant contact between them.